Scriabin's ninth sonata is nicknamed Black Mass as a contrast to Sonata 7's nickname White Mass. It's Scriabin's most refined and perfected dark evil themed piece in my opinion. In this sonata analysis video, we'll be analyzing Sonata 9 in terms of motifs, harmony, narrative, and structure. Afterwards, you can listen to the piece using my video of the score with highlighted themes. The piece begins with a primary motif marked legendary. This opening motif is so uniquely innovative and simple that I made an entire video analyzing it in detail that I recommend checking out. Shortly afterwards we get an evil motif marked Mysteriously Murmured, characterized by a repeating pitch. Afterwards we hear a less prevalent trill motif which is the closest thing we get to a flight motif. Aside from the opening motif being in its own chromatic world, these Theme 1 motifs are all based on the octatonic scale. Theme 2, in contrast, introduces more consonant mystic harmony, with the marking, with a gentle buildup. Like Sonata 6, this motif represents a pure protagonist that is later corrupted by Theme 1 motifs. The only other motif to mention is the motif that comes out of the development section that is essentially a developed form of the primary motif. It has the same chromatic outline of the primary motif but has a playful dance-like rhythm to it. The narrative of this sonata is similar to Sonata 6 in that it's about a pure protagonist being corrupted by evil forces. Sonata 6 has a few distractions from that plot, while in this sonata you can more clearly hear a progression of corruption in the development section, and the piece flows better with captivating intensity. After evil theme 1 motifs are presented, we're drawn in by a long transition to theme 2. In my opinion, some of the textures presented in theme 2 are some of the most extraordinary textures in all of Scriabin's music. After theme 2, we have a brief codetta of trill motifs. The development section begins with a low transposed primary motif followed by a full presentation of theme 2 marked pure clear. This is the only time in the development section that theme 2 is presented in its entirety as the next iteration is interrupted after two bars by mysterious darkness. Remember how the mysterious murmured motif of theme 1 is characterized by repeating pitches? In the next presentation of Theme 2, the evil forces make their way into Theme 2 by making the high note repeat itself in a section marked with a softness more and more caressing and poisoned. Theme 2 becomes shorter and shorter and becomes less free and lyrical and instead becomes more lifelessly rigid in its rhythm. There's a turning point at the marking Pew Vivo where evil forces completely take over with high energy. This brings us to a very fast recap with the primary motif furiously repeating. When Theme 2 returns in the recap, it has a completely rigid, lifeless rhythm. Theme 2 builds up to a climax in the coda of pure insanity. The coda is sort of like a dance motif, and I picture it as a horrific possession or destruction of the protagonist. The piece ends with the same opening primary motif with an ominous low note at the end. This sonata is Scriabin's horror story par excellence. The individual motifs are extraordinary, the textures are unmatched, and the structure is more concise and intense than some of his previous sonatas. 
Check out my video explaining the primary motif and listen to the score with highlighted themes. Please check out my website, join the Discord, like, comment, subscribe, and consider donating.